Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund Korean World Series. This is the final episode before we get into the January transfer window. So I'm really excited to get this episode underway. As you can see, the league table right here after 15 games, we are in second place, tied up with Bayern Munich. Obviously, they have played another game more than us obviously so it's kind of even right now and I think if we win this game against Leverkusen we can go above them so that's what we'll try to do but before that the last episode I actually asked you guys some suggestions for right wingers right midfielders and you guys gave loads of suggestions like Douglas Costa, Eric Lamella, Karim Bellarabi, Patrick Harman, Lucas and Carlos Vela I've already you know, inqu I'm not in not inquired. I've actually just put them on scouting to see get their overall and all that. Also, I want another transfer suggestion from you guys. I want to replace Castro in central midfield with a younger, but you know, not one of the best players in central midfield because we already have Gundogan and Pjanic. So kind of like a backup central midfield who is younger to Castro. I mean, Castro is already 31, and I think we'll need a younger central midfielder. Obviously, Castro is good. But I think I, yeah, I will need a new central midfielder who is younger and maybe better, but not as good as Pjanic and Gundogan. And so yeah, I basically need a backup central midfielder. So do leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Anyways, now it's time to face Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Obviously, they are a very good side with really good players like Stefan Kiesling, Hakan Chalanoglu. So it's going to be difficult against them, but I reckon we can get a good result. It's obviously on legendary, so it's going to be difficult. The last three games I've played on legendary, I've won all three of them so maybe we could win this one and things are looking that way because we get a red no we don't get a red card they get a red card and now we are a man up against them obviously last spent a stupid tackle from him to get sent off and then the floodgates just opened we had countless chances to score and I think we should have scored this one as well. Royce puts the ball into Aubameyang and he really misses that one really badly. But then he had another chance to score and this time he did score with a brilliant finish with his right foot. Unstoppable stuff from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Great assist from Shinji Kagawa. And then another chance for Aubameyang. He takes a long shot this time outside the box. But Berkey with the save, obviously former Dortmund goalkeeper. We traded him, hit him with Leno and I, I don't think I'm regretting that. But here Berkey is actually playing very well against us. Another save from him. And then later on in this game, Chicharito had a chance, you know, to get by Leverkusen back in this game. But Leno again with the save. What a keeper he is. In the last episode, he made some stunning saves. He's doing that again. And we had so many chances in this game to seal the game off. Here is one again. Aubameyang lays the ball off to Iñaki Williams. who couldn't get the shot off, but then Aubameyang missed this one as well. So countless opportunities wasted. And now another chance here. Let's go one more, guys. Come on, as the ball is now with Iñaki Williams. Lays the ball off to Pierre. Emery Aubameyang, can he score this time? No, he can't. Berkey has been sensational in this game. And yeah, that's the end of this game. 1-0. We get all three points. That's what matters. And now we are facing them again in the German Cup. The Doscher Pokal, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's going to be a difficult game again against them, obviously. Because of that red card, they lost against us. So hopefully this one, uh, they won't get a red card. We can have a more even match. And hopefully I'll be able to win this one as well. Because I want to win the German Cup. But looks like they're going to win it. They have the first chance. to Kramer with the shot. But again, Weidenfeller. I'm so glad we you know, gave him a new contract. He's been amazing since he signed that new contract. Unfortunately for Carazzo, he's going to have to be subbed off because of his injury. And this is really bad for him. I mean, he's just got his debut. This was his first match for the club. And apart from that, Bazo is currently injured. He'll be out for like four weeks. So this was Carazzo's chance, you know, you know, play well and get a chance in the team. So very unfortunate for him. But uh, Castro, a player we are looking to sell, scores for us. The number 27 of Dortmund with a brilliant left-footed finish. David Klaassen gets the assist. That was actually a very good goal. Just look at that for a finish. Similar to the goal Aubameyang scored against them uh, just like a few days back in this game. Another chance for us. Mkhitaryan crosses the ball into Hesse who completely stuffs it. And that was a really, really bad attempt for from Hesse for a volley. Disappointed with him. But he's playing really well in this game to be honest. Uh, but now they have another chance here. As Kiesling, you know, strikes the ball and it goes just under the crossbar. Unfortunate for him, but lucky for us. Here's Hesse again. Here he's been really good with all that pace he's got. Still Hesse, yeah, cutting inside. Takes a shot with his right foot, but Berkey with the save, and then it hits the post. Again, unlucky stuff from Hesse. And then later on in this game, they had a chance here to equalize. Uh, Bayern had so many chances, you know, equalize, but Weidenfeller was there whenever we needed him. And this is the dying moment of this game, guys. They have a chance at Kiesling with the ball. Kiesling to Chalanoglu with the shot. It's saved. Toprak, open goal. He misses. How could he miss that? What a miss from Toprak that is. And now they have another chance. Yes, Chalanoglu with the ball. Still Chalanoglu into Javier Hernandez. 
and his header is saved by Widenfeller. Widenfeller is the hero of this game, man of the match. He saved us in this game. I mean, we would have definitely lost this game if it weren't for Widenfeller. Fantastic performance from him. Unfortunately, Carazzo is going to be out for like two months. Very disappointed with that. He's a quality player from our youth academy, and unfortunately, we have lost him. Hopefully, he'll be back uh, in like less than two months, and he'll be you know ready to go and play some good games and all that. That was the top scorers list. As you can see, Aubameyang in second place with ten goals. Hopefully, in this game, he can get another goal for himself and probably you know you know just get ahead in the top scorer list and you know come first place come the end of the season because I really want to have a top scorer from my team obviously in the last few seasons I mean in the last Dortmund season we were nowhere in the top scorer list I mean none of our players were it was all dominated by Bayern Munich so it would be good to have a player from Dortmund in that top scorer list and here Kagawa had a chance to score and but he missed actually the goalkeeper made a save and then Inyaki Williams put the ball in but you know no, none of us none of the players could score there and then Kagawa again with a wonderful ball but Aubameyang couldn't get his head to it and then they had a chance here Hoffenheim were actually playing really well on the ball whenever they had a chance and across it is put in and Leno again with the save I mean this guy is just insane Leno if you guys want a goalkeeper do sign him up either him or Jack Butlin both of the keepers I'm using right now and they're both fantastic Royce with the free kick came close to score but now we have a corner here Kagawa with the header the most unlikely player to see score a header that was an insane header from Kagawa come think of it I mean if you guys watch that Tottenham and West Ham game uh, Aldo Vidal scored a similar, similar header to that and that was actually a very good header and this was also a very good header from Shinji Kagawa to get all three points for us fantastic result against Hoffenheim we won all our three games in this episode as well so we have conquered legendary Kaina but once you face teams like Bayern you'll realize how far we are so halfway through the season we have 44 points three points above Schalke and yeah we are doing really well in the league that's good to see Aubameyang is now in second place still with 10 goals Muller hasn't scored most of years 14 but that's the end of this episode and in the next episode we'll have the transfer window so do leave your transfer suggestions in the comment section below either you know a central backup central midfielder that's what we need and maybe any other suggestions maybe more right wingers because that's not the only shortest i have in my mind but hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and if you guys have don't forget to drop a like follow me on twitter to stay updated subscribe to me so that you do not miss an upload and yeah i will see you guys in one of my next videos